Okay, so we're down here fishing. And Brooke made the major mistake of uh, taking Luna off leash. Because Luna likes to disappear and chase the smell of animals. So Brooke had to paddle over to the other side with the kayak. And she's loaded Luna in the kayak. And Luna hasn't really done any kayaking. So this could be really interesting. <laughs> Mistakes were made. You were brave. <laughs> You were brave putting Luna in the kayak. It's no different to the paddleboard, I guess, because she's a full boy. We did what we're gonna what we're gonna call now is the chicken drug deal. We got out, guy came out, gave us our chicks, and we we left. Well done, Matt Allen. It was, simply, very, it was a very quick handover. Simple farm. Like we're saying. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> very very quick handover. We have acquired the like, chick. Here, chicken. here's the chickens. <laughs> We've acquired the chicken nuggets. Now all we have to do is raise them for the next eight weeks. And then bad chicken for dinner. You can hold one. It will be gentle. Okay. How do you turn this on? Okay, you gotta be gentle. Gentle. You wanna hold him? Gentle. Put your hand underneath. Underneath, like this. There you go. A little chicken. Montanance. Montanance? Are you doing Montanance? Yes, maintenance. <laughs> Water filter change. Mm. So this was on super, super tight and I couldn't get it off. But guess what I have? Oil filter pliers, which just so happen to fit nicely on there. Which made it very easy to unlock because I tried it by hand and it did not want to budge. Drop that guy out. I'll just spill the water everywhere. Okay, I'm gonna go tip this water out, put the new filter in. Nice. Now I thought I might be able to pull this apart because when you get the new pack of filters, you have two that look exactly the same pretty much. And then you have one of these. Hmm. And it seems to be that this might be the interior of this. And I can pull this one apart and put this inside there. Anyway, I'm not going to do that now. I'm just going to put a new filter. Okay, got the filter out. Cleaned the uh, housing. Put our rubber seals back on. Super tight, so I'm just gonna give it a little little extra. Okay, um, yeah, turn the flick the water pump back on. Turn the tap on. We've got flowing water. Water's running, all right. Okay. Well, that was that's a job done that was much easier than what I was expecting, which is very, very rare when you own an RV travel trailer or whatever you want to call it. And, 
those wires up so that because we have a leak in the wires to end up in the water. Field to change done. We should make a note on the calendar so that I guess it's a springtime job, so next spring we'll swap it out again. Cool, I thought that was gonna be difficult to make a huge mess, but it was actually very easy and hardly spilled a drop. Yay for me! <laughs> rain on this. I need to add some more sand. Let's see how we go. Here comes the rain. Did somebody say workhorse? Slave driver. <laughs> Well, we're not getting any solar because the solar brackets facing due south at horizon level, which is where the sun was during winter. But now the sun's vertical in the sky, so we're not getting any solar. So we have to make some brackets so we can tilt these solar panels out get up to past 45 degrees. So I got this bracing from Home Depot, about $40 a length for 10 foot lengths. Cut them in half into five foot lengths. And then I got a length of this 90 degrees bracket. Cut those into small pieces. And then I put a bracket on each end, attach that to the solar. And then solar goes out and then they screw in here. Should be job done. Just gotta put it all together and then we need gonna need you to lift the solar panel while I get the resource in one. But there's lots of uh, putting things together right now. Mm. Oh I love how burnt my arm is from the angle grinder spray. Ow. Oh my gosh. Yeah, that's from all the little red hot pieces of steel. Okay, slowly, slowly, how's the day? Hello. Hi. So the big Meccano set. <laughs> we have to go back into town and get some slight, slightly larger washers. Because unfortunately, these are just big enough to go sideways and pull through.
look up at that craft craftsmanship up there. slowly, keep a bit of pressure on it, keep walking backwards, don't, don't lose it here, this is where people lose them, keep walking backwards, and drag it up on the beach, one last pull, 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 nice fish babe, yeah, good job, is that an eating one? <laughs> oh yeah, it's an eating one, that's a really nice small mouth. How was it? <laughs> emotionally tough. I'm really having an emotional day. Was that your first kill ever? Yeah. First animal you killed but with your own hands? Yeah. Yeah, it's a little tough. You feel a little bad. At least they don't make any noise. The fish. Yeah, fish. Not, not really too much noise going on there. Guys, right, so I thank you <laughs> to the fish but for its life. Food on the table, right? We're going to eat it. Yeah. I'm feeling it for pleasure. Free food. Here you go. He eats a lot of food. Um, meanwhile, I think we have a problem. 